How you doing, wrestling fans? Welcome to NWA Worldwide Wrestling. Well, i got a lot on my plate today to talk to you about, ladies and gentlemen. I guess let's start right from the beginning. First of all, I want to thank the over 1,100 fans who came to the Nashville Fairground Sports Arena last week to witness some of the greatest wrestling we've ever presented in Nashville. Thank you, fans, for being loyal to Burt Prentice and the NWA here in Nashville. You know, I got to the TV studio today, and I had absolutely out in writing what I wanted to put on to show you folks today on wrestling, and the sheriff has left a court injunction from Terry Taylor to Burt Prentice. Not only can I not tell you what happened at the Nashville Fairgrounds last week regarding Terry Taylor, I can't show you the video. My hands are tied. He has a gag order on the whole thing, and the hearing isn't even till September 11th. Well, Terry Taylor, why would you be afraid for the world to see the cowardly act you did? And I know that I'm going at risk even talking about it, but what are you afraid of? This is what I have to say to you, Terry Taylor. You came to Nashville. You bamboozled me is what you did. You came to Nashville, told me you were going to wrestle, and you didn't. You told me you were going to fight fair, and you didn't. And you know what you did. And even though I can't tell the fans out there what you did, over 1,100 people know what you did. And Terry Taylor, this is what I have to say to you up in your home in Greenwich, Connecticut. You come back down here on Saturday night, August 7th and fight the Colorado kid one-on-one. -on -one. You sign a contract that you'll get in the ring and you'll fight. I don't care what stipulation. I don't care how much it costs. I don't care if you take 100% of the gate. You name it, I'll go for it. Because Terry Taylor, I want to show you what a first-class wrestler the Colorado kid is. I haven't invested six years of my life back in the Colorado kid for you to come in and do what you did in one night. So Terry Taylor, you got seven days to answer this. I got two months to have to answer this thing that ain't worth, you know, that's really bull Terry Taylor, that really pisses me off, that you would go to that length, that I can't show the world what a coward you really are. And then Jerry the King Lawler, which you pulled with Jackie Fargo. I can't show that on today's program. You know, I'm so tired of everybody taking pot shots at Burt Prentice and the NWA. And I'm not talking about these local independent idiots around Nashville. I'm talking about you, Paulie, dangerously out in ECW, running your mouth, and you know that we're, we're the biggest part of the pay-per-view at the Riviera Hotel for Dangerous Curves, the ladies' pay-per-view. And now Paulie dangerously says, well, we're going to send in a mixed tag against Burt Prentice's mixed tag, and we're going to beat the out of the NWA wrestlers, and we're going to send lady wrestlers. Well, Paul Dangerously, stick your nose in that paper. That's why. Better yet, Paul Dangerously, while I'm out here challenging the world, why don't you send some of your ECW thugs to Nashville on August 7th also? I'm sick and tired of being kicked in the face by everybody around this town and everybody around this country. I've worked my ass off for 20 years in this business, and I tell you what, it's about time for Burt Prentice to take his payoff. So any of you jabronis out there, you call me. I'll put you on the card August 7th. It's summer blast. Let's just blast the roof off of that thing. And Paul Dangerously, I'll see you personally at the Riviera Hotel for Dangerous Curves in Las Vegas, Nevada. But I don't care, ECW, you know, that kind of makes me mad too. You went in the back door, you got a deal at TNN. The Nashville Network. Well, if anybody should have wrestling on TNN, it's my company. We're based in Nashville, for gosh sakes. But oh no, Paul D. Dangerously and all his shenanigans, he's got the deal. That's fine. You go on TNN. I'm sure you're going to do TNN proud. But I tell you what, you send your wrestlers here, and my NWA wrestlers will kick your ass any day of the week. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the show today. And I'm sorry I'm so hipped up, but I tell you what, I'm tired. I'm tired and tired of taking the abuse, and I'm not going to take it no more. Lebanon wrestling next Saturday night. Air Paris against David Young. Sarah Lee will be handcuffed to that cow, Miss Savannah. Bart Sawyer, Chris Michaels, New South, Beef Burton, Sean Thompson. Girls, you're going to like him. Big, big action in Lebanon a week from tonight. Remember, there's no NWA wrestling in Nashville until Saturday night, August 7th. No NWA wrestling at the fairgrounds at all till August 7th. And I appreciate all you fans that are staying local to the NWA promotion. Well, fans, enjoy the show. Terry Taylor, you got seven days. Answer me my next Saturday right on this show. Why don't you do a, a, a big segment? Of course, you don't want, to, you want your face seen here. I wonder why. What are you hiding? 
I'll put up anything. I'll do anything, Terry Taylor, for 60 minutes of your time on Saturday night, August 7th. The biggest explosion in all of professional wrestling, Summer Blast 99. And it's only going to happen Saturday night, August 7th at the Nashville Fairground Sports Arena. The whole world, and we mean the whole world, will be watching this one. Stand by, folks, for details. Summer Blast 99, Nashville Fairground Sports Arena, Saturday night, August 7th, 8 o'clock. Stand by. All you great at Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to NWA Worldwide. I'm Lee Tidwell alongside me, the Diva Miss Savannah in the ring, the tag team champions, Bart Sawyer and Chris Michaels getting jumped by the New South. This is the beginning of the North American Tag Team title match at the National Fairgrounds Sports Arena. Well, if you missed the fairgrounds last week, you missed a great show. Bart Sawyer now getting dumped outside the ring by Ashley Hudson. Corey Williams with right hands up against Chris Michaels' face. Ashley Hudson on the apron comes off. Double axe handle to Bart Sawyer's head. Chris Michaels staggering over to the corner. I still can't believe these guys are partners. Bart Sawyer and Chris Michaels, the unlikely pair to be the NWA North American Tag Team Champions. But Ashley Hudson there with a flagpole just beat the fire out of Bart Sawyer on the floor. The referee not saying much, Kurt. I don't know if he just saw it or not. Chris Michaels getting beat to death in the middle of the ring by uh, Corey Williams. I didn't see Ashley with the flagpole. He's got the flagpole on the corner. Ashley would never cheat. Corey Williams, a big right hand to Chris Michaels head, just rocks it back. Kurt, the referee, now checking Bart Sawyer, making sure he's not coming into the ring. No tag there by New South. Double team on Chris Michaels. Double whip into the ropes, comes off. Big double elbow on Chris Michaels' head, just bouncing off the center of the mat. Well, I feel really good this morning, Lee. And what do you feel good today? Well, in case everybody missed it last week, you weren't part of the over 1,100 fans at the fairgrounds. The Sex Pistol David Young beat that stupid jabroni TJ Gray for the TV belt. Yeah, and how did he win the TV belt, Miss Savannah? I uh, had nothing to do with it. Okay. Only a two count there by Ashley Hudson with that guillotine leg drop on Chris Michaels. Now, Savannah, a week from tonight in Lebanon, you will be handcuffed to Miss Sara Lee to an offense lumberjack strap match, David Young and Air Paris. Okay, this is another conspiracy. They're going to handcuff me to this old woman. Did you see what she did? She came out there and tried to jump me. What is wrong with security? Like we have the last security. I'm talking lousy. Gordon, you are horrible. Jimmy, you didn't help. Where was all the security? She tried to get me. She tried to pull my hair out. Security now checking on Chris Michaels, making sure the fans don't go there and interfere. Ashley Hudson picking him up. Here comes Bart Sawyer. Big bottle of water to the back of Ashley Hudson's head about knocks him out with it. Listen, I'm telling you, this security ain't helping nobody. They did not protect me, and I am going to speak to Burt Prentice and to Bill Barons about it because she liked to got her hands on me. Chris Michaels now coming into the ring. Ashley Hudson whipping him into the corner. Flips up there. It looks like Ric Flair comes back down. And a big spinning heel kick to the head of Chris Michaels. Wow, that's a move I haven't seen Corey use before. He is fabulous, isn't he? Corey Williams and Ashley Hudson in control now of this North American Tag Team title match and only a two count. That was so close, Savannah. Not to take away from Bart Sawyer and Chris Michaels because they are good wrestlers, but my favorite tag team right now is the New South. And I've said that every week and everybody knows Savannah's behind the New South. He was resorting to cheating now. Double team, Ashley Hudson coming in the ring. No tag by Ashley Hudson and Corey Williams. Ashley Hudson holding Chris Michaels down. A big super kick into a side Russian leg sweep. Wow, Lee, you couldn't get that out, could you? I couldn't get anything. I'm tongue-tied today. Covered there by Ashley Hudson. One, two, and only a two count. Bart Sawyer in for the save. It's because you're sitting next to me. I can't help it when I sit next to you. It's just like... Anyways, Ooh. head into the top turnbuckle by Chris Michaels. Tag now by New South. About time they tag. They tag right there. They do not cheat. I'm telling you, the New South plays strictly by the rules. Their rules. Look at the back of the shirt. What's no wrong rules. with that? What's wrong with that? Left by Corey Williams into Chris Michaels. Well, I want you to know that I am really upset about being handcuffed to Miss Sarah Lee next week. But unlike some people, T.J. Gray, I am not a whiner. I don't go to everybody whining. Sunset flip there by Chris Michaels. Got Corey Williams down. Three, four, five, six count. Ashley Hudson distracting the referee. And a clothesline from hell there by Corey Williams. Well, you interrupted me, but what I was going to say is I'm not going to whine and complain about it. I am going to take care of the situation. Miss Sarah is going to be sorry that she stuck her nose in my business. And she'll drag you around by those handcuffs. Now, Corey Williams helping Chris Michaels up by the hair, putting him on the second rope. Well, this, 
they are such a good tag team, and that's what they've got going for them. Lee, they have been tagging now for months, and they are a cohesive unit. Unlike the uh, whatever you want to call Bart and Chris, who don't even get along, you think they're going to be able to tell those tag belts? I don't think so. Chris Michaels laying on the apron, big elbow shots by Ashley Hudson. Hudson's got the boomerang now. Bart Sawyer not helping Chris Michaels too much. Yeah, that's right. Bart Sawyer's getting a little out of control. He needs to calm down and stay on his corner so his guy can make the tag. Joke there by Ashley Hudson on Chris Michaels. Corey Williams, the legal man in the ring. Bart Sawyer needs to stay in his corner until he gets the legal tag. Tag by New South. Well, I just scared myself because I was like actually calling it down the middle. Ooh. That is scary. Big knee lift to Chris Michaels. Ooh, Ashley Hudson. That's a man, honey. That is a man. Kind of like my man, David Young. What a man. Not only is he a man's man, he is a talented wrestler. We'll find out how good David Young is in Lebanon when he takes on Air Paris in the Fan Lumberjack Strap Match. He's going to wipe the mat with that little pump. Well, he's not going to be able to depend on you for help. You're going to be handcuffed to Sarah Lee. Don't count High cross body there by Chris Michaels. Corey Williams distracting Kurt, the referee. Chris Michaels got him pinned for a seven count. Kurt still hasn't turned around. Finally out of position, comes in, only a one count. Well, I just saw Ashley kick right out right there. Lee, I don't know what you're watching. Clothesline over the top rope, and Kurt's still not saying nothing. I don't know if Kurt's read his rule book lately or not. Well, Bart Sawyer needs to stop and get back up there so he can make the tag. Well, you can't Where Chris is Michael. Chris Michaels? Chris Michaels now on the floor. Bart Sawyer helping him up. Well, Chris, I'd be careful. You can't trust Bart. Bart pushes Chris back in the ring. Now he doesn't get counted out. Both New South in the ring. Now Kurt needs to get one of them out. Finally, Ashley Hudson exits. Well... Lee, I, I think you're a little bit prejudiced here against the New South. Now, that's just my opinion, but you're a little bit prejudiced against the New South. I call it straight down the middle. But I guess they're used to dealing with prejudice. Just because I don't like New South doesn't mean it affects the way I call Hello. it. Hello. You are prejudiced. Side slam there it. by Corey Williams. What's he doing here, Savannah? Oh, this is the move, baby. Here it comes. Whipping, here you go, Corey. Whipping off the elbow pad here. Corey Williams going back and forth. And the big leg drop there. I guess it's the New South leg drop. It's the New South leg drop. Come on, Lee. Get with the program. Pinned here by Corey Williams. One, two, and oh, two and three quarters. Chris Michaels gets the shoulder up. He should have hooked that leg. Come on, Corey. You know better than that. Chris Michaels desperately needs to make a tag to Bart Sawyer. Corey Williams picking him up by his hair, taunting Bart Sawyer now, trying to get him to come in the ring. Look at those idiot fans sitting there at ringside. Are they just not the most disgusting people you have ever seen in your life? They smell. They don't know how to dress. And they're just like, ooh, they disgust me. Now, Bart, don't go in there. Bart's, oh, low blow, Corey Williams. Now, what? I didn't see that. You don't see. You need to get some glasses, Savannah. Uh, look, I'm watching the same you monitor got you are. Insurance. I know you got eye insurance, too. Go get some glasses. Chris Michaels now went in pain about three octaves higher in the corner. Well, Chris Michaels may be in pain, but... He needs to make that tag. He needs to do that move and make that tag. He's desperately trying to get the Bart Sawyer. Corey Williams cuts him off, gets him in the side headlock here. Here comes the crowd into it, telling the New they South how they stop. feel. stop. That is rude. Do you know how rude that is to say those things? Excuse me a second, Lee. i got to come out of the sound booth right now. Savannah, I'm hearing you out here talking about the fans running your mouth. And you want to keep doing that, you're going to pay the price. In fact, the week of tonight at 11, you want to run your mouth about my fans. If Air Paris pins David Young, one of my lucky fans is going to strap you five no times way. in the middle of the ring. No way. No way. That's not happening. It is not happening, Burt Prentice. I'm telling you right now, it is not happening. Major announcement by Burt Prentice on Miss Savannah. Ashley Hudson up on the second rope. Chris Michaels desperately needs to make the tag to Bart Sawyer. Laying just still in the center of the ring. Oh, halfway across the ring, misses. I have an attorney. This is not going to happen. Jeff, lock that door now. Savannah Don't let him back right? out. No, no, no. It's not going to happen. I'm telling you, it's not happening. Bart Sawyer now in for the save. All four members in the ring right now. Ashley Hudson and Bart Sawyer beating the fire each other. Corey Williams whipping Chris Michaels into the corner. Michaels moves. Big super kick. Did you see that? Just about knocked his head off. No, I didn't see anything. I'm too upset. I'm going to call my lawyer. This is not going to happen. I'm telling you, my daddy never put his hands on me. My daddy never whipped me. And none of those stinking, disgusting people in the Lebanon are going to touch me either. Ashley Hudson in for the save. Bart Sawyer in for another one. Still four men in the ring. Bart Sawyer out. Both New South and Chris Michaels in the ring. Chris Michael takes Corey Williams. Oh, Corey Williams reverses it. Big body slam there. Going to the second row. This is not going to happen. I'm not letting this happen. Misses the leg drop off the second rope. I don't know if he's going to be able to set for a while. Chris Michaels desperately needs to make the tag to Bart Sawyer. 
And Miss Savannah's going to get struck five times by a fan in No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Tagged by New South. Here comes Ashley Hudson. No, I'm not. It's not going to happen. A tag by Chris Michaels. Bart Sawyer in. Here he comes. Bam on Ashley Hudson. Right hand. Right hand on Corey Williams. And a big drop kick to Ashley Hudson. Mighty Mouse is up this time. Another one to Corey Williams. Clearing the ring. Well, he was throwing fist. He was throwing fist. I don't even think I can talk anymore. Whipping to the ropes by Bart Sawyer. Bam, big elbow to Corey wins with a cover here. Kurt, the referee, out of position. One, two, only a two-count kick out by Corey Williams. Chris Michaels, Ashley Hudson on the floor. Bart Sawyer, Corey Williams in the ring. Whipping to the corner. Big foot to the face of Bart Sawyer. He is now down. I'm so upset, Lee. I can't believe this is happening. you got to do something. Bert Prentice is not going to let the people put their hands on me. They're not no. going to put hands on you. They're going to put belts on you. That's even worse than their hands. Corey Williams in the ring in control of Bart Sawyer. Whips him into the corner. Here comes Corey Williams. Sawyer reverses it. Foot to the face. Payback time. You know what? Bert Prentice was on the phone earlier. And I bet he was talking to Miss Sarah. She's behind this. Grandma, you are going to pay, lady. You're going to pay. I've been nice because I don't abuse the elderly. But I'm going to knock your lights out next Saturday night in Lebanon. Bart Sawyer with the chain, nails Corey William. One, two, only a two count. Here comes Ashley Hudson with a chair. Wham, knocks Bart Sawyer. Referee's ringing the bell. Referee's calling for a double disqualification, just throwing the whole match out. Fans, we got to take a quick break. We'll be right back. All you great Atlanta wrestlers. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to NWA Worldwide. We're going to give you a little taste of what's going to be on the ladies' pay-per-view August 29th, live from Las Vegas, Nevada. The Team America, Heidi Lee Morgan and Misty Blues taking on the Glamour Girls, Leilani Kai and Judy Martin. Hi, everybody. It's Miss Savannah again, and I've regained my composure now, and I'm really excited to call my idol Leilani Kai's match here, Lee. Leilani Kai now in the ring with Misty Blue. Misty Blue trying to get the crowd into it. You know, Lee, that the uh, Glamour Girls were former WWF Tag Team Champions, right? Right. Of course I know that. Judy Martin. Ooh. Here. That was disgusting. Get her face out of the camera. Leilani Kai and Misty Blue in the ring, circling around now. Call her an elbow tie up in the middle of the ring. Oh, and just a pick up and a body slam by Leilani Kai. Leilani Kai is one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. She is just the greatest. I am such a big fan of Leilani Kai, and I'm telling you, they're going to kick some butt tonight. She's a good wrestler. I just can't say her name half the time. They are going to go to the pay-per-view in Las Vegas, which if you write in Cards and Letters fans, maybe Miss Savannah will make an appearance in Vegas. Don't write. Don't write. No, no. Leilani Kai now tempting Misty Blue. Misty Blue comes around. Big leg sweep there. Pulls her into the center ring, kicking away on the thighs. I think she pulled her tights when she put her down there. Leg drop there on the leg. Gets her in the ankle lock. Well, Leilani Kai there, breathing in pain. Come on, Leilani, you need to get over there and make a tag. Man, she's got a bad hair day, doesn't she? Misty Blue now in control of Leilani Kai. Tag into Heidi Lee Morgan. Comes off, stomping away on the leg area. Come on, Leilani, you need to make that tag. Misty Blue stopping. Leilani Kai from making a tag. Gets her in a leg lock. Well, I don't know too much about this Team America, but I can tell you right now that I think that the edge on experience goes to the Glamour Girls League. Team America in control now. Heidi Lee Morgan tagging in, Misty Blue. Well, you know, they have a really great manager, Lee. The Glamour Girls do. His name is Christopher Love, and he is fabulous. Christopher Love on the floor on the side of the Glamour Girls. Now, Misty Blue in control of Leilani Kai. Got her in the ring. Here comes Heidi Lee Morgan. Listen, Lee, I'm really impressed. You've got her name right every time. I've, I've been working on it. I've been Leilani Kai. That's how I go to bed at night. I say that name over and over and over. Heidi Lee Morgan in control still of Leilani Cobb. Flipping over now, a bridge maneuver here. We you know Christopher Love is one of the greatest managers of all time, and, you know, I'm a big fan of his, too. I've heard a lot of good things about Christopher Love. I'm telling you, he's the greatest. Leilani Cobb now just getting the arm jerked by Heidi Lee Morgan. Leilani's been in there a long time. She really needs to get over and make the tag. Looks like a big flying head scissors here by Heidi Lee Morgan. Oh, Leilani Kai comes over for the pin. One. She ain't going to pin her. She didn't hook the leg. Only a one count there. Heidi Lee Morgan tag into Misty Blue. Well, I got to give these uh, Team like America this girls credit because, I mean, they're really doing a good tag team, you know, in and out and staying fresh. I mean, got to give them some credit, but I'm still picking Leilani and Judy Martin, the Glamour Girls, with Christopher Love. Heidi Lee Morgan now with a snapmare takeover and then got a reverse chin lock on Leilani Kai who desperately needs to make a tag to her partner Judy Martin. Look, you see Christopher Love over there giving some encouragement to Leilani. Look, she's choking her. 
She's choking her, and the ref's not doing anything. The ref's looking right there. If he's choking, he will break the hold. She is pointing, he's and not she's Kurt. choking her. He's not Kurt. Look, oh, she's got her in the corner now. Leilani Hen needs to make that tag. Handful of hair there by Judy Martin over on the side. I didn't see that. I didn't see any hair. You, you never see hair. Judy I Martin now with hair. the tag from Leilani Kai Martin in, in control. Judy Martin is going to take care of this little Misty Blue girl here. I don't like them. I just don't like them. Big kick to the gut there by Judy Martin. Misty Blue down on the floor. Well, they're too pretty and primpy and everything. These are some tough girls. Yeah, Glamour Girls look tough. Biting there. Yeah, you can call that tough. Yeah, they've got they're had all had a meal tough. lately, I guess. You can't be WWF Women's Tag Team Champions without being tough, Lee. Come on. This fan's on this because of the ladies' pay-per-view coming up Sunday, August 29th from well, Las Vegas, Nevada. Love. Did you see him? Is he not fabulous? He is just fabulous. Christopher Love on the floor for the Glamour Girls. Misty Blue now in test of strength. They're all whips the arm around of Judy Martin. Leilani Kai reaching out for the tag. Couldn't quite touch it. Well, did you see that tiara? Wasn't that lovely? I just, oh, fabulous. I just can't say enough about Christopher Love except that he's just fabulous. Tag there now into Heidi Lee Morgan. Both of them working over now on Judy Martin. What a bimbo this Heidi Lee Morgan is, please. A whip into the ropes on Martin. A big drop kick. She got up there like Mighty Mouse that time. Ooh. Now she's, oh, now look. Long corner. Look at there. See, look, now that's cheating, Lee. That's cheating. Team America now whipping up on Judy Martin, who is now down on the mat. Comes over for the pin. One, two. Oh, leg, Lonnie Kai. Handful of hair jerks her off. No, she didn't hook the leg. That's why she didn't get the pin. Well, a handful of hair wouldn't help either. I didn't see her grab her hair. Uh, Judy Martin now foot up. Heidi Lee Morgan into the chest. Judy Martin in control. Whips her into the corner. Uh -oh. Flips her up and over. Comes up, misses the clothesline, back into the ring. Oh, and a big chop there. No, that was a punch, Lee. That's a chop. She was throwing a fist there. That's a chop. There was another one. What are you looking at? I'm looking at puppies. Judy Martin now down on the floor, not her. You're Covered by Heidi Lee Morgan. You're one, disgusting. two, and there's Leilani Kai distracting the referee. She didn't hook the leg, Lee. It had nothing to do with that. She didn't hook the leg to get the pin. Team America now going to bring all the members of the Glamour Girls in. Drop kick there by one. Drop kick now, Leilani Kai. Both Glamour Girls down on the mat. Team America in control. Well, they need to get out and get a little time out here. They're Jenny Martin whipped into the ropes. Misty Blue, their big clothesline on her on the floor. Well, I, I'm still telling you, I have a feeling that the Glamour Girls are going to beat Team USA. Team America in control of the Glamour Girls. Holly Morgan going that. up to the top rope. Misty Look Blue, at her hitting her. Hand. Look, she hit her with the fist again. And there's Christopher Love jerking the rope while Misty Blue was up on the top rope. Disqualification there because of Christopher Love. Team America now. Bam! Double headbutt there on the Glamour Girls fans. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. As a result of a disqualification. The biggest explosion in all of professional wrestling. Summer Blast 99. And it's only going to happen Saturday night, August 7th at the Nashville Fairgrounds Sports Arena. The whole world, and we mean the whole world, will be watching this one. Stand by, folks, for details. Summer Blast 99. Nashville Fairgrounds Sports Arena, Saturday night, August 7th, 8 o'clock. Stand by. Fans, welcome back to NWA Worldwide. In the ring, David Young in the black trunks, taking on the prodigy, TJ Gray, who is the NWA television champion. With me at this time in the studio, Burt Prentice. Burt, this is a match that I cannot wait to see. Well, and I want to clarify something, because a couple weeks ago at Nashville, everyone thought that Fair and Fox had won the of the NWA TV title from Prodigy, but after looking at the film, Savannah, who just can't seem to mind her own business, a 48 double A size chest. Uh, you've been in that chest, I guess you'd know firsthand, but I tell you, Lee, uh, we gave the belt back to Prodigy on a technicality, and here he's defending him against David Young this morning. Now, David Young has a great future in the wrestling business. He's a little too political for my. Uh, uh, being he likes to walk the fence and kind of play the political game but as far as a wrestler he's double talented and as soon as he learns loyalty i think he's probably going to be a, a big name player in this business now savannah outside the ring doubly dangerous if you know what i mean and uh, has an ongoing feud going with miss sarah lee and if sarah lee i can tell you ever gets her hands on this bimbo fur is going to be flying so that's why a week from tonight in lebanon 
She's going to be handcuffed to Sarah Lee. We're going to see who the better man is between Air Paris and David Young. Now there, David Young taking the shortcut, of course, hiding behind referee Jimmy Rivers. And uh, T.J. Gray has come a long way, got a long way to go, but um, with the right attitude, could also make some waves in the wrestling business. T.J. Gray is the NWA television champion, defending against David Young. David Young complaining, T.J. pulled his hair. Referee says he did not see it. Let's just get it on. And let me tell you something. T.J. Gray in his first rookie year winning the NWA Worldwide TV title belt. That's unbelievable. You notice that young man standing there next to Savannah at the ringside is, is none other than ace photographer Lance Cavett. And a lot of pictures taken from this night will show up in WOW magazine in a couple months. I love that magazine. Yeah, it's a great magazine. And, and I'd like to thank Bill After and all these folks up there that gave us like a four-page article this month. But uh, all the magazines have really treated us well from Brandy at Pro Wrestling Illustrated and just everybody we appreciate it. Lance was shooting for WOW magazine this night. Boy, prodigy taking it to David Young right there. Now a big body slam down hard to the mat. Savannah say, come here, I'll give you some loving on the outside. Look at that woman, she's huge. Look at that crowd, Bert. Oh, near capacity crowd at the Fairground Sports Arena. Yep. Savannah calling for a timeout. I don't think Jimmy's heard of that rule. I think she got it from Bart, sorry. How does she walk with that, you know, without her back? I figured she'd be walking like a hunchback. I tell you what. That woman could breastfeed sewer workers. Yeah, they would like it. David Young getting in shape a little bit there on, on the outside. He's uh, really improved since coming into the NWA. And uh, I tell you what, David Young, I mean, he's got what it takes. And, of course, he's hired Savannah now full time. And uh, this will be interesting. David Young back up in the ring. The prodigy getting ready for him, adjusting his knee pads, circling each other. Prodigy giving Savannah a little look. He knows what happened. A couple of weeks ago with Farron, making sure it's not going to happen again. Calling elbow top, center of the ring, wrenching the arm there. David Young on the prodigy. Savannah cheerleading on the outside. David Young just wrenching that arm in. A nice reversal there by the prodigy on David Young. I would hate to see Savannah and cheerleaders out there. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, no NWA wrestling at the fairgrounds until Saturday night, August 7th. No NWA wrestling at the fairgrounds at all until August 7th, and then it's Summer Blast. Terry Taylor, I hope you uh, return our phone call. Yeah, that interview from you this morning, Bert, with some pointed comments directed at just about everybody, the prodigy now, going for the cover. Breaking the eyes are about David Young. David Young. the eyes, kick to the floor. Oh, my gosh. That was a kick. About to knock his head off. I'm telling you what. David Young is a pure professional, I'll tell you what. Nice suplex there by David Young. David says, damn, I'm good. <laughs> A week from tonight in Lebanon. You need to reinforce the ring, Bert, if you're going to have Frenchie and Skinny Kenny against each other, both in the same ring. Prodigy being choked on the second row. Here comes the diva. Choking the daylights out of Prodigy. Throws him back into the ring. Showing her what she showed the ref the other week. The Prodigy now on his back in the ring. David Young walking over methodically and just stomping the face. Of Oh my gosh, there's Miss Sarah. Miss Sarah Lee saw him. Look at this crowd. They're standing there going nuts. Sarah Lee come out of nowhere chasing. And security has got Sarah Lee. Oh my gosh, they're taking her off the floor. Look at them people. They love Miss Sarah Lee in Nashville, Tennessee. Sarah Lee's going to get a hold of Savannah one of these days, and Savannah's not going to look the same afterwards. Oh, that was so close. Chin lock there by David Young on the prodigy, T.J. Gray. Jimmy Rivers asking the prodigy if he gives up, if he submits. Prodigy saying no. Prodigy's got a lot of fight and resilience in him, working his way to the feet. You better believe it. Prodigy isn't one to say I quit, I'll guarantee you. And he'll take the fight to you. He's got a lot of game left in him. I tell you what, he's a, he's a, a four-star competitor in the ring. David Young, a little more devious. You know, you can see these great stars every Thursday night in Loganville, Georgia at the Georgia Bell Center. And I tell you what, that, what a following they're getting down there, Lee, at the Georgia Bell Center. Been drawing some great houses down there at the Georgia Bell. It's a, a flea market and, and center it has a wrestling arena all to its own down there on the premises. And I tell you what, they're doing real well. And you can see uh, David Young, prodigy. In fact, Bart Sawyer is the king of Loganville. And talking about Bart Sawyer, he will be on that pay-per-view because we're going to have a mixed tag team match, uh, a team from the NWA and a team from ECW taking on each other. And Bart Sawyer is going to be in that mixed tag. We're not sure who his partner is, but I can't 
I am could be more proud than have Bart Sawyer representing our company at that ladies' pay-per-view on Viewer's Choice Sunday night, August 29th. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Riviera Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada, we want you tuning in for that. Also, all you great fans in Georgia, Sunday nights in Stockbridge, Georgia, and uh, wrestled down there at the Starlight Skating Center and uh, drawing good crowds there. And uh, Bill Barron's doing a heck of a job down there, and they got some nasty individuals like Rick Michaels and, and Joel Deaton. And I tell you what, the fans are having a great time. David Young now in control of the Prodigy. Prodigy now down on his back in the center of the ring. David Young spitting at the fans. That's not a way to get over with him. Picking the Prodigy up by his hair now. Slim his head to the top turnbuckle. No, there's a little town called White, Georgia. They have wrestling on some Saturday nights around Atlanta and Cornelia, Georgia. And there's so much wrestling going on down there in the hills of Georgia and, and good top quality wrestling. And uh, I tell you what, fans in Georgia are real lucky to be seeing all that. Of course, the hotbed, the granddaddy of them all, is the Mecca. The Nashville Fairground Sports Arena, where you can see only NWA Worldwide Wrestling featured. And we'll be back in action Saturday night, August 7th. Of course, Lebanon, one of the towns that actually built this company, a week from tonight, got a heck of a card in there. Candy Divine against Fair and Fox. Speaking of Fair and Fox, he's going to be on a on a card tonight in Carthage. Carthage. Yeah, Ronnie Crowder's promoting the show in Carthage. Um, of course, he's booked a couple of losing jabronis on the show, but... Farron, I tell you, Farron's got some blubbering idiot as his partner tonight in, in uh, Carthage. But if you want to see Farron Fox and the Diva and a couple more good ones in action, check out Carthage Wrestling. That's Carthage Armory. It'll be worth the price. Speaking you only have to sit through a couple of slobs. Speaking of the Diva, distracted Jimmy Rivers, the referee of the Prodigy, had David Young pinned for at least a three or four count. Oh, my God! She's giving him a milkshake! He can't breathe! He is, yeah. I want to be Jimmy. She's giving the referee a milkshake. The prodigy now pulling Jimmy Rivers off to the side, making sure that he's not going to be tangled up with Savannah. That's the way he lost the belt the last time. One, two, and a kick out by David Young. Wait till Jimmy Rivers' wife sees it. I didn't know that happened. Jimmy Rivers' wife is not going to be a happy camper. Kick there to the leg by that David Young. needs to get off the ringside. And there she goes. Off Where's the Miss ring. Sarah? They need to let her loose and come out there and rip this heifer apart. She'll knock her off the ring. David Young now with a leg lock there on the prodigy. Jimmy Rivers checking the shoulders, making sure he doesn't lay down, checking to make sure nothing's illegal. You know, I'm so mad, and I'm so disappointed in Terry Taylor. I've known him over 15 years, and then he comes to Nashville, and, of course, I can't talk about it, but doggone it. Um, well, 1,100 people know what happened, Bert. You don't, I don't... I think they know what happened, and other people will soon find out. Big whip there by the prodigy on David Young. Picks him up. Looks like he's setting him up. Here it comes. Bam, DVD right there. The prodigy, it's over. What a beautiful move by Tim Gray, the prodigy. I tell you what, has him for the count of 72. Of course, milkshakes over there, distracting the referee one more time. My God, see, she's enjoying that. He's 80 years old. He'll have a heart attack going through that. Jimmy Rivers now watching. There, oh, a low blow there by David Young. Well, the referee didn't see it. He was looking at the jugs. Whip there by David Young. Spine buster. Bam. David Young with it right there in the middle of the ring. One, two, and a three count. The winner and the new NWA television champion, David Young. Well, no, one, no one's going to get up after that, but I tell you, the milkshakes won that match. All you great Atlanta. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm pleased today to showcase some of the great lady wrestlers that are going to be at that WNWA Ladies Pay-Per-View live from Las Vegas, available only on Viewer's Choice, Sunday night, August 29th. We want you to order it, ladies and gentlemen. In the ring now, Malaya Hosaka and Nasty Linda Dallas. Ladies and gentlemen, what an intense matchup this is going to be. Malaya Hosaka, one of the top lady wrestlers from Japan. And I tell you what, Linda Dallas is one of the greatest uh, nasty girls in the business, I tell you what. This pay-per-view is going to be socked full of action. Stacy Carter is going to be there. And I heard that Anna Nicole Smith is going to be, yeah, at the pay-per-view live from the Riviera Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada. Puppies Some galore. <laughs> it's going to be puppies galore, and it's all going to be Sunday night, August 29th. Ladies and gentlemen, make plans to be there. Malaya Hosaka now taking the fight to Linda Dallas, I tell you what. Linda Dallas has got a mean streak that just won't stop, Bert. Uh, Malaya Hosaka now in control of Linda Dallas, just wrenching the leg there. The referee checking, seeing if her shoulders are down, seeing if she gives up. Well, a nice kick to the face there by Linda Davis. Hosaka now down on the mat. 
I tell you what, Linda, Linda Dallas, you keep calling her Linda Davis, but Linda Dallas is so, so, I tell you what, she's going to still be in this match. She's a tough hombre, and Malaya Hasaka is going to know through. There you go. See, almost took her head off. Goes for the cover, count of two. This is action coming from Laughlin, Nevada, ladies and gentlemen. Malaya Hasaka and Linda Dallas. Oh, my gosh, just throws her clear across the ring by the head of the hair. Picks her up again. I told you this Linda Dallas is not playing around. And you want to see intense lady wrestling, tune in to the pay-per-view August 29th. I'm telling you, it's going to be some of the hottest matches. we got a mixed tag match. There's Paul Dangerously throwing his stretch around here. And he's going to send in a mixed tag uh, from ECW. we got one from NW. And I'll tell you what. You're going to see lady wrestlers from Canada, Japan, Mexico, the best the United States has to offer. I tell you, if you're a pay-per-view watcher and for the best dollar-for-dollar -dollar value, this one is going to be the most entertaining pay-per-view of all time. Don't miss the WMWA ladies' pay-per-view called Dangerous Curves, live from the Riviera Hotel Sunday, August 29th. I'm Viewer's Choice. Now, all you fans, I don't care if you're watching in Tampa, New Orleans, Victorville, California, I want you all to order this pay-per-view now. It's going to be incredible. I don't want you to miss it. There's Nasty Cat LaRue on the outside in Linda Dallas' corner. Boy, I tell you what, from face lock, I'm Malaya Hosaka. Osaka now in trouble. Linda Dallas with a nice side headlock there, just wrenching it in on the neck. Pick up there by Osaka. Linda Dallas reverses it, just whips her over. She's a tough hombre, I'll tell you what. That's head scissors there by Osaka. Linda. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, Rustin returns to Levin in a week from tonight. Savannah will be handcuffed to Miss Sara Lee, and if Air Paris defeats David Young, some lucky fan's gonna swat Savannah on the behind five times with the leather strap. That'd be worth the eight bucks right there. I would pay to see Savannah get whipped with the belt. Candy Devine against Fair and Fox, Bart Sawyer, Chris Michaels, the New South. Everybody's gonna be in Lebanon a week from tonight. Spinning kick there by Husaka on Linda Dallas. Dallas now down, Husaka picking her up by her head. Backs her into the rope, shoots her off. Comes back around. Oh, and a double chop there to the chest of Linda Dallas. Malaya Hosaka now getting a handful of hair. Backs her into the corner. Whips her across the ring. Hosaka in with the elbow. Hosaka now snapmare takeover on Linda Dallas and goes back to that reverse chin lock. I tell you, I remember this night vividly. It was standing room only at Don Laughlin's Riverside Hotel there in Laughlin. There's Linda Dallas. I tell you what, she is pure nasty. I wouldn't want to be hurt in a dark alley. That'd be scary. Linda Dallas in control of Osaka. I bet you're flying out to Vegas just to see Anna Nicole Smith. I, I want to get the ticket so bad. Puppies galore. It's all going to be from the Riviera Hotel Sunday night, August 29th. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, you do not want to miss this ladies' pay-per-view. It's, it's like none other in the history of wrestling. I mean, this is no gimmicks. This is, this is pure, hot and I mean hot <laughs> ladies wrestling. And I'm telling you, something for everybody at Dangerous Curves, Sunday night, August 29th. Puppies galore. Oh, there'll be puppies. Stacy's going to be there. You know there'll be puppies. Oh, I worship she can't Stacey. even keep her clothes on. Oh, look at that now, Bert. She collides with her partner there. Hosaka comes up. Flips her over with a pin. Unbelievable one, move. And Malaya Hosaka pulls this one out. There's Cat LaRue on the ring. Now Cat LaRue's taking it to Malaya Hasaka. I tell you, the nasty girls are double teaming Malaya Hasaka. He's kicking a fire out of him. Right there. There's Bambi. There's Bambi Montegas coming into the ring now with a chair. And there go the nasty girls. Bambi will be on that pay-per-view in 29th too. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear a word now about Summer Blast 99. The biggest explosion in all of professional wrestling. Summer Blast 99. And it's only going to happen Saturday night, August 7th at the Nashville Fairgrounds Sports Arena. The whole world, and we mean the whole world, will be watching this one. Stand by, folks, for details. Summer Blast 99. Nashville Fairgrounds Sports Arena. Saturday night, August 7th, 8 o'clock. Stand by. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to NWA Worldwide. I'm Lee Tidwell alongside me, the diva Miss Savannah in the ring. Cheryl Russo with a side headlock on Nasty Cat LaRue. Fans, don't forget Sunday night, August 29th, live from Las Vegas, Nevada. The WNWA Ladies Pay-Per-View only on Viewer's Choice. This is going to be one you're going to want to see. Stacy Carter is going to be there. Bambi is puppies galore, Savannah. You need to quit with the puppies. I am really sick of hearing you talk about puppies. Oh, puppies are nice. 
see some puppies? No. Puppies on the pay-per-view. WNWA ladies pay-per-view from Las Vegas. I'm going to buy me a plane ticket going out there. A pin there by Cheryl Russo. Only a two count. Nasty Cat LaRue. She's a tough, tough hombre. Gosh, I'm starting to sound like Burt Prentice. You know, I really can't stand Burt Prentice. But I really like Christopher Love. And Christopher Love's going to be at that pay-per-view on August 29th in Las Vegas. And if you... Uh, if I feel like it, you know what? I just want to show up out there. You can't have a pay-per-view without the diva. And a three count there by Cheryl Russo. She is the victor over Nasty Cat LaRue fans. We're about out of time. Don't forget, a week from tonight in Lebanon, Tennessee, and Summer Blast 99, August 7th. Fans, we'll see you next week. Bye, everybody.